Are we going? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Oh. So, thank you all for coming today to hear my speech. Um, my my speech today is about American pit bull terriers. Uh, I have a question for you guys. I'm just wondering if anyone here has any dogs. You guys have ever had dogs? Yes. Oh, that's great. I have a dog too. Um, do you? I have a pit bull mix actually, so that's why I would like to inform you guys today about what an amazing breed pit bull terriers are. Do you guys remember hearing about the Michael Vick trial? Yes. yes. The whole craziness, and they're allowing him to play football again. I think it's ridiculous. I'm boycotting the team. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, so, do you guys have any idea about what kind of dogs pit bulls are? Yes. I would love to hear. Well, you see, Annalisa, in Florida, <clears throat> you're not allowed to have pit bulls as a pet because they are so vicious and mean and cruel and they will bite people and try to kill them and rip their throats out. Oh yes. goodness. Well that's that's quite vicious. an opinion. Yes, that's quite an opinion. So you also think that pit bulls are a vicious breed? Yes. <laughs> we, yes. Do, we do have a we do have a we do have a pit bull puppy here with us today. I would never to hear let my speech. She's very uh, vicious as you can see. <laughs> so I'd like to give you guys a little bit of background about pit bull, uh, the pit bull breed. Uh, dog breeders in England, Ireland, and Scotland during the 19, early 19th century were experimenting with breeding bulldogs and terriers because they wanted a dog that had the sort of scrappy instinct of the terriers, um, also, but also the strength and uh, and work work ethic of, of a bulldog. So that's how uh, pit bulls came to be. They are actually the mix of a rat terrier and a bulldog, believe it or not. Uh, so the, the dogs were first bred to bait bulls and bears. Uh, and, and so some, similar to dog fighting now, uh, bull baiting and bear baiting at the time was deemed inhumane. So so dog fighting actually started at that time because the, the bull and the bear fighting was deemed inhumane. So then they started being used for dog fighting, which is horrible and sad. So eventually that also became illegal, and so then they were used uh, by farmers and ranchers in America to help protect their, their uh, to help protect their farm animals. So because of, <laughs> see, they're very vicious dogs, and they, they, they did earn quite a horrible rap. So the name Staffordshire Terrier was used by... It, it's was sorry, the name Staffordshire Terrier, which is another name for a pit bull, uh, was coined by people in England who wanted to sort of pretend that their dog was different. So Staffordshire Terrier is also another word for pit bull. Um, so a little bit about the breed. The breed is extremely loyal to family and friends. Um, they're actually generally friendly towards strangers as well. Uh, people have been known to be afraid of them because of their bad reputations, which is really sad because they have a general love for people and they're very friendly and interactive dogs. Um, they do have a very high prey drive for small animals, so you would want to watch out for cats and squirrels. Uh, <laughs> they, they, you know, they do chase things. They're, they have that terrier instinct. Uh, the breed is a very strong-minded breed. They're very stubborn, and they do need they do need a responsible owner that's going to be very interactive and proactive about the dog's care. This is not the kind of dog that you can leave in your backyard on a daily basis or that you can ignore for like weeks at a time. You need to you need to be able to devote at least two hours a day to being in, involved with your dog and interactive because uh, because they're they are a demanding breed. Um, but but there are many rewards to that, which is that you'll have a very loyal and loving dog. Uh, they're very happy go lucky and they love to play, as you can see. Um, so they're very it's a very fun, friendly dog. They're very athletic and they love to work. They are bred to work. Um, so if you don't give them a job, they will find one, which is probably not going to be one that you would actually want them to be doing. Um, so that being said, pit bulls are not mean and vicious. Uh, in a recent study by the American Contemporary Testing Society, which studies all dog breeds, uh, pit bulls achieved a passing rate of 83.9%, which is higher than breeds such as beagles or golden retrievers. So it is a myth that they are aggressive dogs. Yes. Um, there are many other dog breeds that scored much lower than that. Uh, so, and what they do is they, they test a dog's response uh, to other dogs and how they play with an owner, and they're given a score based on that. Um, so they're actually not very aggressive dogs at all. Uh, some other myths that, that are 
kind of generally believed is that they have locking jaws, which is to completely a myth. It's not true. Uh, pit bulls are no more likely to turn on their owners than any other dog that's been poorly managed or cared for. Uh, they're, uh, they are a very loyal and loving breed. They're very agile and athletic and fun. And with proper care and management, they will share many wonderful years with their owners. And uh, I've had a very fulfilling relationship with my pit bull, and as you can see, uh, <laughs> she does too. So thank you very much for your time. Yay!